During British colonial rule, Hinduism and the Tamil language were relegated to the background in Sri Lanka. It was a testing time for the faithful and the Tamil community overall. In the year 1930, however, a band of Hindu women joined hands to preserve the unique Hindu Tamil culture, its identity and traditional values. They went on to form the Saiva Mangair Kalaham, otherwise known as the Hindu Women's Society. 75 years on, its pride is the only private Hindu school of the Emerald Island of Sri Lanka, known as the Saiva Mangair Vidyalaya, or Hindu Ladies College. Hindu Ladies College was founded in 1932, built on firm Hindu traditions, inculcating the values and lessons of love, truth, righteousness, peace and non-violence. With nearly 2,500 students enrolled and over 100 teachers in its staff, Hindu Ladies College is today a beacon of Hindu Tamil cultural elegance. The Kalagam was inaugurated on the 10th of December 1930 amidst the delicate chimes of the temple bells. Among the founders of the society were three luminaries Rasamuthu Sadasivam, Surnakanti Nalainadan, and Balhambike Namasivayam. From humble beginnings, the Saiva Mangheer Kalaham has worked tirelessly in the educational, religious, cultural and social fields. Under the British colonial rule, Christianity and the English language were given prominence while the Tamil language and religion were greatly affected. These ladies felt that the younger generation, their children, needed to know the mother tongue, that is Tamil, and religion, Hinduism. With this view, they started the Saiva Mangir Vidyalayam, that is, Hindu Ladies College in 1932 on Vijayadasami Day. The primary school of Hindu Ladies College has close to 900 students studying from grade 1 to 5. Modern educational methodologies and techniques are frequently adopted at the school to manifest positive teaching practices. Apart from the Tamil stream, the school has also introduced the English medium. This has presented students with an exclusive opportunity for education in the international language. The school believes the tender years of a child must be nurtured carefully. After all, a great future leader could be hiding behind those tiny, adorable eyes. 
we have 872 students in the primary school of Hindu Ladies College and we have all trained teachers teaching in the new method of education and uh, we have introduced the English medium in the primary school. Now we have come up to grade 4. The only thing that is lacking for us is we do not have a good playground. Our sports meet is going to come and we have to take the kids here and there for practices and they find it very, very difficult. Our school is progressing very well and if we can have good grounds, they will excel in sports too. The computer division was set up in 1992 as part of the Saivamangir Kalagam's vocational training program. The management recognizes the importance of computer literacy in today's ever-changing world. Information technology grows at a rapid pace, but though the center is far from fully equipped, the students are offered a level of training which without doubt stands above national school standards. Thus, the computer division has given students the courage and confidence to face the digital divide. This is the school library. Unique, effective and valuable. A wise man once said, Education is the progressive realization of one's ignorance. The school library needs to be better equipped. However, it's been a fountain of wisdom to many and will undoubtedly shape minds to great limits manifested by dedication and determination. The ordinary and advanced level students in the school rank among the best in the country. Their achievements in the General Certificate of Education Examinations in Sri Lanka have set exemplary standards in academic qualifications. From small beginnings, our school has grown into a supra-grade institution with over 2,400 students. Our classes extend from nursery to the advanced level classes. Our students enter universities of our country, graduating as doctors, lawyers, accountants, teachers, and managers. I think we have to expand our educational activities and also we should improve the sports activities. I think with God's grace I need all your cooperation. From biology to mathematics, commerce and political science, to Hindu culture and arts, the school is an academic powerhouse, recognized as a cradle that has produced some of the country's prolific and imminent professionals, scholars and intellectuals among others. Among the diverse extracurricular activities of the school are the Fine Arts Society, Tamil and English Literary Associations, 
Science, Religious and Guides Associations, Elocution, the Prefix Union, the St. John Ambulance Fraternity, Interact Club, the Philatelic Club and the School Band. These activities have encouraged the students to face some of the challenges confronting the world today. Guiding is different from other youth organizations for various reasons. Actually, guiding is not only a, a service to the public, but also we achieve so much. Guiding helps us to face any situation with understanding and to, the, and to develop our leadership qualities. Further, we get more opportunities to show our abilities and our hidden talents. Guiding also helps us to communicate with other ethnic groups and to develop our leadership qualities, friendly manner and courteous. Our Tamil Union organizes competitions in speech, singing, drama and debate at the school and inter-school level. The winners of this competition all participate in provincial and all-island level competitions. They always get first places there and our school was awarded a trophy for winning most number of first places in these set competitions. As a regular feature, competitions are held in different fields and the winners are sent for the English Day competitions organized by the Education Department. They have won places too. The members of the union also staged one of Oscar Wilde's plays, Lady Windermere's Fan, and a scene from Shakespeare's play, Hamlet. Our English Day is an annual event in our school calendar and the students from other schools are invited to participate in the program. In the Ladies College Nursing Cadet Division of St. John Ambulance Brigade was started in 1995. Presently, there are more than 85 cadets in this organization. As we belong to the school community, we render regular first aid during school hours and at other school functions. National and city corps camps were held to develop confidence and knowledge. In these camps, our cadets have won awards in the first aid competitions, in best campsite, best group of campers and best camp leader. A relief aid project was organized in order to help the victims of the recent disaster tsunami. We collected around two lakhs of cash and medicines and distributed them through our city coast. We have completed 10 years of service successfully We had our ethnic problems of 58, 61, 67, but yet the Kalaham was never deterred. We moved on, and in 1971, the hostel for school children was started. This is the Mangir Illam, and with the Mangir Illam is the Sirvar Illam, that is where we have a few orphans, the Kalaham looks after their education, their, all their necessities are given by the colour. 
The Mangair Ilam is the student's hostel, set up in 1972 adjoining the school. Though modest in size, its prime intention was to provide shelter to students and young women of far-off villages who came to the city for education or employment. Today, the Mangair Ilam is home to over 100 students. Discipline, hygiene, education, culture and Hinduism are accorded high priority. From humble beginnings to the creation of the safe haven it is today, the Mangir Ilam has grown from strength to strength. Students say that they find each day and night spent in this home a memorable and truly cherished experience. Strain, tension and turmoil seem to have infested our world. With our quest to gain everything materialistically stimulating, children, our future will be left with a society full of dangers. But the divinity that crushes the blend of trivialities lies in a method adopted at the Saiva Mangher Kaladam Yoga Center. Children in the Vidyalayam are also trained in the technique of physical, mental, emotional and intellectual concentration. The Yoga Center builds an ability to face issues in a calm and rational manner. The Kalagam has launched a program known as Shaka, training women in social services. The group is extremely sincere and deeply dedicated in its efforts, currently helping rehabilitate dozens of families displaced by Sri Lanka's brutal ethnic war. The Acharya in charge of the Chinmaya mission has been entrusted with the weekly religious training session. The Committee of Management is the managing body of the various institutions and programs of the Saiva Mangher Kalagam. Imbued with a desire to preserve and foster Hindu traditions, it holds a proud record of achievements in the educational, religious, cultural and social spheres. In 1961, when the government took over the denominational schools in the island, the committee stood undeterred deciding not to hand over the school, but to run it as a private, non-fee-levying Hindu school for girls. As a result, Hindu Ladies College stands as the only such school in Sri Lanka. The committee endeavored since then, during the ethnic conflict, and continues to serve underprivileged children by granting scholarships and free hostel facilities, books and uniforms. It also helps organize the school's functions and cultural programs and is credited with all school constructions from the halls, science blocks, memorials, hostels to the classrooms. The Committee of Management of the Saiva Mangher Kalagam has widened its activities to encompass many pressing issues, pursuing them with deep concern. The nursery school is the first step in molding a child with the image of society they perpetuate. 
A child's attitude in life and capacity to face challenges are determined largely during the formative years. One sight can be guaranteed every time one enters the nursery school. It is that of exuberance, cheer, innocence, and an infinitely pure and carefree childhood. Children are taught to dance with the music. Easy alphabets are taught so that they will be able, once they go to grade one, to do their work. Exercises are done so that they will be kept fit. Just before they leave, we have some exercises. We also uh, relate a story to them and we tell them, while relating the story, we tell them what is happening in both languages. When Maria Montessori came to Sri Lanka, our founder members, Mrs. Sadasivam and Mrs. Nalanadan, met her and felt that our young children, tiny tots, also needed a school where, in a Hindu background, they could be given a Maria Montessori education. And so the nursery was founded in 1954. <laughs> was donated by Mrs. Balambiya Namasivayam, who was our ex-president of Saiva Mangir Kalam. And her wish was to have elders and look after them in her home. At the moment, we have 18 elders and 17 working girls. The home was gifted to us by our ex-president, Mrs. Balambiya Namasivayam, particularly for the elders. But we had to accommodate the working girls as they had no other safe place and they felt that this is a very secure place. So they are here and it's a very good combination of the elders as well as the youngsters. The elders are able to advise them and the youngsters are able to help the elders. So it's a real wonderful combination and here in the home Bala Sambarnathan and uh, Malar Balindra. We are here every week to look into the interests of the home and make them happy. The 1983 riots created a problem for our young girls. They had nowhere to go where they would be secure in their homes. So we started the Working Women's Hostel at the Namasivayam Illam and today it's a happy combination where the elders and the young people live together. They help each other and they are able to move forward. The Saiva Mangher Vidyalayam's Past Pupils Association is an alliance formed by the school's seasoned past that stands unified in invigorating more than the very corridors that saw them march through years ago. The Past Pupils Association's contribution has been considerable to the school's development. The association engages in a vast array of functions on behalf of the school ranging from honorary services to organizing fundraisers and better school amenities. The association also steps in with the contribution of valuable ideas and opinions while coordinating demonstrations and workshops and granting scholarships to underprivileged children. The mission of the Past Pupils Association has been to develop the infrastructure and the human resources of our students in the Sayu Mangir Vidyalaya. For the past 11 years, we have achieved many things. We have provided infrastructure facilities for the principal's office. We have refurbished it. We have provided clean drinking water. We have provided fax machines, computers. We have done quite a few. We commenced to educate the girl child scheme in 1995. And every year, 
we are rewarding scholarships for 35 students. From 2006, we hope to increase this number to 50. And we were fortunate that we were able to launch a scholarship in the name of our late Ms. Kasi Pulle while she was alive and active. I take this opportunity to request all the past pupils living abroad to assist us and strengthen the past pupils association so that we will keep the Saivamangir Vidyalayam flag flying higher and higher. Saivamangir Kargatunadiyya Yerwata in the Andigal Nerei Ura Ville, Kalanda Ville, Hermadi Chadigre. must be based on peace, must be based on development. Today is the finale of the Platinum Year celebrations of the Saiva Mangir Kayaram. The past year has been very eventful with the various institutions of the Kalagam, namely the Vidyalayam, School of Music and Dance, the Nursery School, the Mangir Illam, the Balambika Namasivayam Illam, the Yoga Center, Shaka, and the Village Unit participating to make it more special and colorful. This is the Saiba Mangir School of Music and Dance, established to preserve religion, culture and the Tamil language that were on the verge of extinction under colonial rule. It specializes in Veena, Bharatanatyam and vocals, Mirudangam and flute among others. With over 200 students enrolled, the School of Music and Dance is a hive of artistic and cultural activity. Rukmani Arundale of Kalashetra, Madras, visited the school in 1973 and was so impressed with the standard of dancing that she offered to exempt students of the school from the preliminary grades of the diploma course in dancing there.
equipment. I can do my assignments very well. While pursuing objectives and improving on life, we strive to keep abreast of the changing times. With most support and funds, the Saiva Mangir Kalagam believes it could achieve much more by reaching out to more women in need and ensure better education for our children. This is indeed the finest hour, the celebration of the Platinum Year. By and large, the Saiva Mangir Kalagam will continue to enrich the life and culture of women as it strives towards perfection.